my mind made up on opening Horn Barbecue, and no pandemic or nothing was gonna stop me from doing that. I was gonna persevere no matter how long it took. Full course salad. Can I get any sides for you today? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese? When people look at the Horn Barbecue story, yeah, okay, these guys are doing sold out pop-ups, long lines, and Finn, you know, he had the most difficult time opening his restaurant and all these challenges. To say, hey, you know what? Instead of us focusing on this negative time that we're dealing with in the world, I mean, the whole world's affected by this pandemic, how can we show love in the midst of fear and uncertainty? It's all in the spirit of barbecue, and we got plenty of beef ribs for y'all. Awesome, right on. Enjoy your beef ribs. Six pound brisket. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Alrighty. The only thing that I can do is go back to what I've always relied on, which is cooking food with my heart. That's what we've done. I was yearning for something, something to give me purpose. And the first time I lit a fire, it did that for me. Every family gathering we've always had has always been around the whole premise of barbecue. I had to drive three and a half hours to my grandmother's house to use my grandfather's barbecue pit that was covered up. The little bit of money that I had, I would go and purchase these different cuts of meat. And I would go back there and I would take the grill off, lay the coals in there, and it would have this huge flame coming up and I would be throwing the meat on like that. And it was literally just burning this barbecue. At that time, I told my wife that whether people come and buy the food, or if they don't, I'm still gonna cook it. Now, as for people feeling that, you know, barbecue is a thing of the South, that's not true at all. I mean, we get it a lot where people just like, well, you know, we heard about your barbecue, we hope it lives up to Texas standards. If I was in Texas, it would still be the same. If I was down South, it would still be the same. Horn barbecue is horn barbecue anywhere that I go in this country. What would you like for the second order? I'll say this, in order to really create really great barbecue, you need to have two things, patience and love. And when I saw the difference that it made with the meat, right there it clicked. Trust the meat, you don't want to rush it. You want it to take time. That time is what seasons that barbecue. Love is the intention that you put inside of it. Thank you for this food. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your fellowship. Amen. Amen. Anything that he puts his mind to, he's passionate about. So this doesn't surprise me. I didn't expect anything less of him. I will never say that we have the best barbecue. What I will say is that we don't cut corners and that each day we're intentional with our pursuit of perfection of the barbecue that we make. That's my focus, is doing better than what I did the last cook. Welcome everybody.